Hello, viewer. Do you want to embark onto the frontier of civilization to keep peace with your mech? Conquer, wait, liberate human colonies that have fallen into a dark age with your mech? Or just plain go screw the authority and earn riches as mercenaries, with your mech? But whoever you are, you will always be a Lancer. Now, most of you watching the video will have no idea what the heck Lancer is. Lancer is a sci-fi mech-themed tabletop role-playing game that is the brainchild of two people. Abaddon, aka the author of Kill Six Billions Demon, it's fucking good, go read it, aka Tom and his friend and partner, Lopez. One day, Tom said hey, I'm thinking of doing some mecha stuff. And Lopez was like sure. And then Lancer was born. Starting 13,000 years into the future, the Union, established after mankind on Earth or as people now called it, Gradle, underwent the literal dark age for millennia thanks to pollution, global warming, thermonuclear warfare and politicians as humanity scrambled over the last resources on the planet, have taken the destiny of humanity back into their hand. Space. However, as the Union expanded, they quickly realized they weren't alone as it turned out the ten massive colony ships launched out from Earth millennia ago had formed their own interplanetary societies and cultures. And it's the Union's job to relink all the lost colonies back together as one hegemony. Needless to say, the majority of known space in the Lancer universe is a lawless frontier and that means adventure. And what's a better way to keep you safe from harm than a mech? Not just any mech in fact, your very own one. You are a Lancer, a mech pilot so good they had to invent a new word for you, and your mech is a one-of-a-kind custom machine printed specifically for you with various licenses from five different companies. GMS, or General Massive Systems, that while not being fancy with their equipment and techs, served as the golden standard for every product in the Union's hegemony. IPSN, Interplanetary Shipping Northstar, clearly adopting the motto of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, use tried and true technology for their mechas. While that might make their products less advanced than their competitors, the reliability and robustness of their products often work that problem out. SSC, Smith Shimano Corpro, constantly pushing the edge of what defines a human being with their transhumanist view, is a corporation that has more of a focus on quality than quantity on their products. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that their mechas are basically sports cars when compared to IPSN's freight haulers. Fast, highly advanced, and crash and burn if things go wrong, but more often than not things go right for their pilots. Horus, is just fucking insane. They aren't even a corporation, they are more like a decentralized, disembodied entity that just made hyper-advanced technology for shits and giggles. Their mechas, by Lancer Universe standard, are complete and absolute madness. That probably could be said the same for their pilots as their mechas often break known laws and theoretical laws of reality. H.A., Harrison or Murray, are not shy about their expansionist view on isolated colonies, are on the frontier of, totally legal, conventional and paracausal research. Utilizing highly advanced technology, their mechas are well-engineered products that still require more field testing than most want. By gathering licenses from the companies, you gain weapons, systems and the mechas themselves. And by kitbashing parts from different mechas, you can make your very own truly unique mech. Want a mech that dual wields chain axes, ripping and tearing anyone it pulls over with its grappling hook while burning anyone that dares to interrupt with a flamethrower? You can. Want a mech that prints a bunker on the field, stays in it, shooting anyone that gets any closer while also turning invisible at the same time? You can. Want a mech that throws so many mines that the enemy can't move without triggering any but then you teleport with them so they trigger it anyway? You can. Want a mech that screws up enemies' systems so hard that getting their browser history leaked was the least of their worries because they are currently on fire? You can. Within the limit of your imagination, and the game system, you can practically build any mech you want. Whether or not they are practical is another thing entirely. But hey, I can totally build a flying mech that can breathe fire and crash through castles to kidnap princesses in this game. If you are very interested in the game right now, you can either go check out Massive Press main website for the current and beta core rulebook as well as in beta supplemental materials, or you could also join the official Lancer Discord to talk with thousands other with the same love and mecha like you. Both links are in the description below and I hope you guys have a great time, later.